So about 30 days ago, I had these two heifers AI'd, and now I'm going to bring them up, draw some blood on them, and have it checked to see if they're pregnant. Uh, for me, it's a little easier this way and a little cheaper. Uh, I think the bioprint test costs about $2.50 per test. Uh, plus shipping so I can have these two done for less than $15 where if I had a vet come out he would charge me probably at least $50 for a farm call um, so anyway like I said these both the uh, Jersey and that Angus Holstein cross heifer were bred on the same day uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and run the this little Jersey heifer calf out and get her out of the way uh, then we'll go ahead and get started I usually work on my cows by myself I only have about eight mama cows total um, so I try to feed them in this little catch pen of mine ever so often and I'll close the gate on them and for them to get out they'll have to come down this little alleyway and go through the head gate so they sort of get used to it and it makes it easier for me to do this stuff by myself still you kind of have to get a little inventive um, and I've got a few things to uh, to do you notice I'm putting a fence post in here to keep the uh, keep them from backing up I need to make something make a tailgate or something here where uh, I can stop that but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the process. Uh, for me, this is the simplest way to do it. Um, just get about three cc's of blood. Uh, here, I've got all my stuff sitting outside the head gate. And I'm going to go ahead and clean off the underside of this cow's tail. There is a vein that runs right up through the middle of the tail there's a bald spot and it's kind of looks like a triangle underneath there uh, they don't like to stick but it's easy to hit once you figure it out uh, it's, there's like a like I said like a soft spot there you can fill it with your thumb of one hand and use your other hand uh, to hold the, the needle and syringe It is pretty simple. Like I said, they don't like the stick, but it's not that bad. Once you get it in, you can see she just calms right down and doesn't bother at all. And like I said, it takes about three cc's of whole blood. There, she kind of kicked up at me when I smacked her on the butt to get her to go on out the head gate. And this cow's so gentle, she makes it difficult to get her in. Uh, you can push on her and she'll just stand there. My arm got in the way of the other one, so you couldn't really see me drawing the blood. Uh, I'm going to show you again on this one. And show you, you know, kind of where you need to aim for. Like I said, it's pretty simple to do, and after you do it once or twice, it is a problem at all. I'm going to clean her tail off again with some paper towels uh, just to keep from contaminating the blood with uh, feces or anything. And this is some place where you're going to want to make sure that you use a new needle and a new syringe for each animal. Uh, just a little bit of blood left over from one to the other could change the uh, results of the test. But you can see that triangle right there, that the webbing on the side of the uh, tail base or the tail head. Uh, you see that and then there's a little spot right there towards the top of the triangle and you just pop it right in there. It's all pretty simple, and you know this way you can uh, get your pregnancy results. 
a lot cheaper unless you just have to have a vet out for another reason um, and then just have him do preg checks while he's out uh, here all you have to do is uh, you take the blood you drew stick it into the uh, vial that uh, I got from my vet and it's vacuum sealed so it just draws the blood in um, then you need to label the tube uh, you number them uh, one through however many cows you have this is the second one I did so I'll number it number two and I'm putting a JC on this one as an identification which means Jersey cow you can use anything you want numbers ear tag numbers tattoo anything any kind of ID as long as you know uh, what it is so now the only thing left to do is fill out the paperwork uh, package it up and mail it off